they are having a really hard time hiring their new executive team because as they offer people their executive positions, it is made clear that all decisions will be made out of Qatar. Any major decision. Now, what's that mean? How much loyalty, how much is your loyalty to your country, how much is it worth? How much, is your, how much are your principles worth? Well, that's a question that I guess we should ask uh, CNN anchor Soledad O'Brien, who sold out. Also, NBC anchor John Sigenthaler. Um, former CBS correspondent Joy Chen is now with Al Jazeera. Former NBC reporter Mike Vaquera is also going to be the White House correspondent for Al Jazeera. Guaranteed he'll be called on. He said, quote, I expected some comments from people unfamiliar with Al Jazeera. No, I... I mean, I would expect the comments to come from people who are all too familiar with Al Jazeera. And that's why some people are speaking out. Ironically, Chen said that she was interested in Al Jazeera when, when she saw their code of ethics. Quote, we seek not to sensationalize. We approach journalism in a fact-based way. Really? I wonder if Al Jazeera reported their Egyptian bureau walking out after being told to slant their coverage towards the Muslim Brotherhood. Because that's an interesting fact. That would probably be good to report on. I find a code of ethics from bin Laden's own personal TV network to be fascinating at best. America, understand this. Al Jazeera is not the BBC. This is the network that said America deserved 9-11. They also furthered the 9-11 truth conspiracy. They're truthers. <laughs> لقد كانت أحداث الحادي عشر من أيلول سبتمبر غريبة جدا تم ربط الهجمات بتسعة عشر مسلما أمام الشعب الأمريكي والعالم بعد يومين فقط من وقوعها تم العثور على بعض المصاحف ولكن قبل ذلك كان المحافظون الجدد الذين كونوا حاشية الرئيس بوش وهم من وضعوا خطة مشروع القرن الامريكي الجديد كانوا يقولون ان امريكا بحاجة الى شيء شبيه بهجوم بيرل هاربر وقد كان الحادي عشر من ايلول سبتمبر بيرل هاربر الجديد لامريكا لحشد الشعب الامريكي من خلال غضبه ورفضه لما حدث It's very fascinating to me the face that they show to the Middle East where their bulk of their audience is they also feature rampant anti-semitism الرسالة الاولى اوديها إلى اليهود المعتدين الغاصبين المستكبرين المتجبرين في أرض الله على عباد الله إسرائيل جسم سرطاني من المتفق عليه الجسم السرطاني عادة بتواجهه بأحد سبيلين إذا كنت تملك القوة تمارك تمارسه بها لاستذاف هذا السرطان أتمنى في ختام كلمتي هذا أن يهيئ الله لي في ختام حياتي فرصة للذهاب إلى أرض الجهاد والمقاومة على كرسي متحرك فأطلق رصاصة على أعداء الله اليهود I find it, again, fascinating that they also uh, praise bin Laden and terrorists regularly on their network overseas. Have we no sense of Arab honor? And then there's this. Al Jazeera had a party for Samir Kuntar. He was released in a uh, Israeli Hezbollah prisoner swap in 2008. He served 28 years of four life sentences for his role in kidnapping um, an Israeli family, a 31-year-old dad, his wife, their four and two-year-old children. During the kidnapping, Kuntar executed the dad right in front of his four-year-old daughter. Then he turned, and he didn't just kill the girls, he crushed their little skulls 
on a nearby rock. During the initial chaos and break-in, mom tried to hide from the terrorist. And while she tried to keep her two-year-old girl from crying, she actually accidentally suffocated her to death. It was beautiful. So how did Al Jazeera, this fact-based network, celebrate this monster's relief? With cake from Al Jazeera. Congratulations. Is this the code of ethics that Chen is refer referring to? Is this the worldview that cable news providers think Americans need to hear? The fact that Al Jazeera only has six minutes of commercial time slated per hour, most of that is promotional, is a hint. It's not real popular. But some reason or another, all of the major cable companies decided this is the voice they need to air.